anytime you're dealing with an internal combustion engine, there's always a chance it will misfire. A better understanding of how the misfire monitor and crankshaft position sensor operate can make diagnosing a misfire or drivability complaint that might not generate a code. Just that much easier. The critical piece of information to understand is crankshaft speed is not constant. Instead, the speed changes as the pistons travel up and down in their respective cylinders during the combustion cycle. You can't see it with your eye or in the rev counter, but the crankshaft position sensor detects these small changes in speed. When the sensor and engine management system detect a change in crankshaft speed that could be either missing late or even early, it could classify it as a misfire. The abnormal event is saved and counted by the engine management system. This is known as a misfire monitor. A misfire monitor is a continuous monitor. However, it can be suspended under certain conditions like torque converter lockup, open loop operation, or even when the AC clutch is engaged. A single misfire will not cause a DTC or the check engine light to come on. Instead, the misfire event must meet a specific numerical threshold before the code is set. The misfire monitor will reset after the exact number of revolutions of the crankshaft or at the end of the drive cycle. A DTC P0300 indicates a random misfire. A random misfire indicates that more than one cylinder has hit the threshold. A P0300 doesn't travel alone. You can also find DTCs P0301 to P0312 indicating the individual cylinders when a P0300 is set. Some aftermarket scan tools can access mode 6 data with enhanced OBD2 or generic modes. These modes can take the hexadecimal code from the monitors in mode 6 and translate them into misfire counters and monitor information that is easy to interpret with your eye. What are you looking for? First, the misfire count for a specific cylinder needs to be compared to the other cylinders. If one or more of the cylinders have many misfire events, that is the cylinder you should investigate. Knowing the specific cylinder can help you to focus your test on the ignition coil, fuel injector, or other mechanical components. You also can try other scan tools and tests like power balance, of the deactivated injector or even the ignition coil. Using the misfire monitor can also be used when a code is not set. Some misfires may only occur when pulling away from a stop sign, but the misfire counter may not reach its threshold to set the code. Using a scan tool in record mode while on the test drive may help you to isolate when the misfire occurs and registers with inside the misfire counters. The best thing about a misfire monitor is that every vehicle with an OBD2 port has the information available, even for some of the most basic scan tools. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.